Dito, the brand new Archer Garrison Commander, is about to land for the first time here in Rise of Kingdoms. So today we're going to take a look at some pre release battle reports so that way you guys have a good idea as to whether or not she might be worth investing in if you are a garrison leader. What's going on, guys? Cheers. You guys remember the Rainforest Cafe growing up? They still exist, by the way. I love that place. Not sponsored, just in love. Now, I wish I could have made this video a little bit sooner because we are nearing the end of the Mightiest Governor event. And if you want to change your mind based on the information that was presented here you probably can't because you've already gone all the way through the mightiest governor but if you were wondering if you should max her on day one then maybe the information in this video can still help you so as we did with juga leong coming into rise of kingdoms we're going to take a look at the rock battle simulator here for dito up against a couple of different common rally choices here in rise of kingdoms now let me just say when i talked about the battle simulator in my juga leong video a lot of you guys gave me really positive feedback about this simulator i was worried that a lot of people were going to go super negative and basically just hate on the simulator and say oh my god it's fake news fake data whatever but i was happy to see that a lot of people were very logical in their response to this simulator of course it is using the battle simulator for rise of kingdoms and it is very very detailed so of course while we're going to go over some simulated results here in this video this is not official data so there still needs to be actual real world testing but i will say that when when I talked to the developer of this battle simulator they said that they're pretty confident in how they calculated Dito and how she functions because her kit is a lot more vanilla and a lot more standard than what you might see from let's say Juga Leong where we had a lot of question marks as to how some of his skills might be working in the game so I think the results that we're going to go over in this video are relatively accurate but again it's not official data and if you guys are interested in getting your hands on this battle simulator I had a lot of people I wasn't really expecting this I, maybe I should have I don't know a lot of people were wondering how they can do this or use the simulator on their own so I'm going to leave a link in the description to the discord for this battle simulator it is not a free simulator but it's very affordable and the developer his name is Speco I hope I'm pronouncing that right but he's been so so responsive and so friendly and so helpful so I have no problem shouting out the program since a lot of you guys seem to be interested now let me break down how rallies and garrisons work in this simulator because as everybody knows rallies and garrisons function differently than open field fighting and that's because there's a lot of different things that you have to take into account for rallies so the way that the developer set up this battle simulator is that you can select who is the garrison and who is the rally here you also can set your troop capacity to be whatever you want it to be in this case I set it to 2 million and then here you can change between open field fighting and rally garrison and essentially what this does is that when your troops remaining get below 86 percent the program is automatically simulated to reinforce your garrison or rally to bring it up to 98 percent so this does a couple of things one this simulates actual reinforcement like you would expect in the open field it also doesn't simulate an unreasonable scenario where you know you're constantly reinforced to 100 because that's never the case in the actual open field at least not for most uh most alliances so reinforcing up to 98 percent i think is more realistic than constantly capping out at 2 million and then this number right here is just the number of minutes that you want that to occur so it will just go on into perpetuity until it hits that time cap and then it generates basically a battle report so let me go over some of the things that I have set up here for these tests okay I did for most of these and I'll tell you when it's not the case but for most of them I did a 10 minute exchange which means that this video took a very long time to collect data for so if you appreciate the hours of time that I spent on this simulator please drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton and consider subscribing to the channel if you want more news and information on upcoming rise of kingdoms content even before it comes into the game and click the bell if you want to be notified the moment that that information goes live but as I did with the open field fighting I did take a couple of liberties here to assume that of course the garrison is going to be using the Ottoman Empire and for the case of cavalry rallies they're going to be using Arabia because that just makes sense for the skin bonuses I assumed that most players would be using a 10% health skin I think there were a couple where I did a 5% skill damage skin the 10% health skin seemed to be the best here but I am not a rally or garrison lead so if that is not what most players do you can let me know in the comments section below but I think that you're still gonna get useful information from these tests uh, here you can see I did full iconics with a 10% defense buff 
for both of them you're just gonna have to trust me i can obviously move my uh thing here but um you can see that that is the case for both sides i also assumed that both sides got a 10 percent health rune that both sides were vip 17 to 18 that they're gonna have max crystal technology at 37 percent attack and 10 percent all damage and then unlike the open field fighting i did assume that both sides would have not only the best gear but it would all be talented all with iconics because if you are a rally or garrison lead i do think that it is more likely that you're going to have completely maxed out gear than if you're just a regular open field fighter because again those that are going to be doing these massive rallies these massive garrisons are probably going to be the whales so just keep in mind that all these reports are with the absolute like best of the best gear so your results may vary unless of course you are a giga whale okay so the first thing that i wanted to do was sort of get like a baseline right here we have a report this was a 10 minute rally of zenobia flavius you can see both talent builds down there at the bottom okay so you can either agree or disagree with those talent choices those are just the ones that i went with for this video oh my god why am i jumping around of course as you can see i also chose france for zenobia flavius whether or not that's actually what infantry garrisons use is up to them but uh, regardless you can see that the Zenobia Flavius did actually win against the Nevsky Joan okay we have 1,171,000 severely wounded for the Zenobia and we have 1,393,000 severely wounded for the Nevsky Joan now as you can see here this does not calculate deads unfortunately but what we're looking for here is the power loss exchange and whichever side is obviously winning in these tests is obviously going to get fewer deads than the enemy I think you understand that that doesn't really matter okay so this is kind of our baseline here you can see Zenobia Flavius did pretty good now let's move on to what was arguably the best archer garrison before we got Dito into the game so there's a little spoiler there Dito does perform very well in this video okay now we have a mandatory uh primary with Artemisia secondary and you can see that it just gets blown out of the water by Nevsky Joan obviously right obviously it's archers being countered by a super powerful rally uh, you could make the argument that Zhang Yu with Nevsky is a better accommodation that's up to you to decide I think that's probably the case depending on like swarms and all that stuff which is obviously something else that this simulator does not take into account so again before you write that comment in the comment section below I know that this is not a perfect representation it's just a 1v1 duel but regardless a mandatory Artemisia gets absolutely destroyed by even Nevsky Joan so you can imagine that uh XY Nevsky might even perform better than that so let's move on to Dito with Amanatore because Amanatore is a very popular garrison commander here for archers and you could see here that this loses again we have Dito Amanatore losing 17.7 million power loss on the garrison side and only 13.6 million power loss on the rally side and also you can see that just for clarification we are using the Ottoman Empire here as well all right so we can see that Amanatore with Dito is not great now remember they do have the same uh talent trees so you could argue one as primary over the other depending on how you want their uh, you know active skills to take place in that order but we did Dito with Amanatore and it wasn't that great let's move on to the next report we have have really interesting here um we have Dito primary with Henry secondary and this is actually performing better than the Amanatore so this is going up against an Attila Nevsky okay so I changed things a little bit and we're going to get into more reports so if there's if there's something you're worried about here we're going to show a lot of different combinations so so don't worry uh, I know that this is not apples to apples because that we're changing the rally but you do see that the Dito Henry loses but not by that much 14.2 million power loss on the garrison 13.7 million power loss on the rally so we're about half a million difference in power loss between the two sides here so it's relatively close but still a loss for the archer garrison let's move on to the second Attila report and you could see that the outcome was very similar okay uh, you could see that the Attila performed slightly better here there was no changes to anything uh these were both 10 minute rally garrison exchanges um and the Attila Nevsky won again this time by a little bit more so we know that Attila Nevsky is going to counter Dito Henry pretty much every single time but they will trade very close moving on we have a Dito with Henry versus Attila with Nevsky and this was a 15 minute report and we could see once again that the gap is widening a little bit so the longer that this goes on the better that the Attila Nevsky is probably going to perform with Dito Henry losing once again let's move on to Dito Henry versus Boudicca Henry this is a very common rally choice and we could see here that Boudicca Henry does actually win here and you can see that I did change this also to Ottoman Empire 
there and you can see the uh the choice of talent tree in the bottom right corner so Boudica Henry is beating Dito Henry in a rally garrison scenario still extremely powerful rally here it's like a 1.3 million power difference after the 10 minute mark let's take a look at another one here we have Dito primary with Henry secondary and you guys may be wondering like why am I showing Henry so much in this video um a lot of people have been doing testing not just me with these different commanders and Henry secondary seems to be probably one of your best if not the best secondary choice to Dito okay as we go through these, these reports just keep that in mind here we can see Dito with Henry beats Joan with Nevsky really interesting there you could see the the talent build down here uh so far the talent build for Dito hasn't really changed throughout this video so just keep that in mind in case you forgot what it is there it is but remember that cavalry is supposed to counter archers okay now typically I don't often see Joan Nevsky rallies but like I'm sure somebody was wondering how that would perform so here you could see that the archers which are countered by cavalry are beating Joan Nevsky really interesting stuff here again this was a 10 minute rally let's move on here to Dito with Henry versus Nevsky Joan and I think a Nevsky Joan is a more popular rally choice than Joan Nevsky and here we could see Dito Henry beats them again really interesting stuff so Henry rally commander is performing really good as a garrison commander crazy stuff there we have 14.2 million power loss for the garrison and 15.2 million power loss for the rally so a 1 million power loss difference here that's pretty nuts moving on to the next report I ran this again because I was curious to see how this would do and this time I actually changed the talent build on the archers here you could see that we did uh, only one leg off into the support tree and went pretty much full archer all the way up to the top with a little bit left in the garrison tree and this actually performed a little bit worse okay it's still one which is nuts but it's uh performed a little bit worse than the the double support tree build so Dito Henry can perform really well against Nevsky Joan pretty consistently from what we're seeing here which is pretty nuts next we'll see a 20 minute rally here okay so here we go back to the full support or mostly full support tree uh talent build and you can see that on the in the case of a 20 minute rally uh it still wins so even if Nevsky Joan has more time to to build up damage um you can see that the disparity here actually just increases it's a two million power loss between the two so literally it's the same basically the same ratio as the 10 minute um but it's double the time so it's a bigger power loss for both sides really crazy stuff here we see Dito Henry performing well as a garrison let's move on to versus a infantry garrison and bad news for infantry players uh you're not gonna crack this okay um Tarek Pakal is a relatively anti-swarm decent infantry army to rally with but if you're rallying up against a Dito you will get destroyed and I think that comes as no surprise to anybody uh but Dito Henry just de decimates Tarek Pakal 7.5 million power loss for the garrison 12.8 million power loss for the rally because of course infantry is countered by archers so in a scenario where where Dito Henry is performing sort of neck and neck with the troop type that's supposed to counter them you would expect them to absolutely destroy the troop type that they actually counter so I didn't really bother too much going up against other infantry rallies because we kind of already know the outcome now here we could see some interesting reports here we have Dito Henry same talent build as before with a heavy investment in the support tree versus the Zhang Yu Nevsky again still Arabia with the special troop type still all max equipment and this is the talent build on the Zhang Yu and and here you could see that they trade pretty evenly the Dito Henry did win here but barely okay I mean like I would say this is we're talking like 4,000 seven difference here right like I, I'm gonna say this is basically a one-to-one -one trade here okay it's actually a one to 0 0.01 trade like that's what these numbers here represent so I'm gonna call this a wash I'm gonna call it even but that's still insane considering that Zhang Yunevsky is a really good rally tons of skill damage here and it's supposed to counter Dito Henry it, like that's what it, it's built to do that as a cavalry army and it's not doing that so really interesting stuff there next let's take a look at uh, something other than Henry right because you guys might have questions about that here we have same support tree that we've been using 
Dido with Heraclius or Heraclius. Uh, I've been getting comments that I'm pronouncing that wrong. I think it depends on what country you're from on how you pronounce that, but you can roast me in the comments, whatever. Um, here we see Dito Heraclius actually wins against Attila Nevsky. Now, one of the things just to rewind for a moment here, you'll notice that this is basically a wash. Okay. This 10 minute it's, it's even if we go back earlier in the video, that explains why I was doing so many Attila Nevsky rallies, because here Attila Nevsky was actually winning against Dito Henry in all of all three of these reports they won. Okay. Uh, and that's why when I did the, um, Zhang Yu with Nevsky, I was surprised that it was pretty even. So what we learned from that is that Attila Nevsky is actually better at countering Dito Henry than Zhang Yu Nevsky. Keep that in mind if you are a rally lead. Anyway, going back to the Heraclius results here, you could see that they actually win. Heraclius is maybe a little bit more tanky, not really an archer commander. He's providing shielding, which is really nice and a, a nice chunk of stats as well. So you see 10.8 million power loss for the Dido and 11.3 million power loss for the Attila Nevsky. Now, if we go back here, we see that the Dido Henry was losing to the Attila Nevsky. And yet Dito with Heraclius is winning against the Attila Nevsky. So interesting stuff, very close. It's half a million power loss difference. So very, very uh, similar results there, but just worth noting there. Okay. So moving on, I did Dito with Heraclius versus Nevsky Joan. And here we can see that the Dito Heraclius actually lost versus the Nevsky Joan, but it's pretty close. I mean, here we could see it again. It's the one to the 1.01. So I'm going to call this a wash. I'm going to call this pretty much one to one. Okay. Pretty much one to one. So in this case, what's interesting is that against the Attila Nevsky Heraclius does better, but against the, uh, Nevsky Joan, the Henry actually does better than the Heraclius. So interesting stuff there. Uh, keep that in mind, depending on who you're going up against, you may want to change the secondary to Dito to perform better. Moving on, we did a Dito Heraclius versus a Zhang Yu Nevsky. And we can see here that Dito Heraclius does lose. Okay. It does lose. So Zhang Yu Nevsky is the winner here. 13.2 million power loss for the Dito Heraclius versus the 12.8 million power loss for the Zhang Yu Nevsky. So remember Henry traded pretty much even as a secondary to Zhang Yu Nevsky, uh, but Heraclius pretty clearly lost. It's a small loss, but it is a loss. So it seems like Dito Heraclius is good against the Attila Nevsky. And that's pretty much it. If you go up against Nevsky Joan or Zhang Nevsky, you probably would prefer a Dito Henry. That's what we're learning here because Dito Henry traded pretty even with Nevsky and traded pretty positive against Nevsky Joan. Whereas Dito Heraclius traded positive with Attila Nevsky, which Henry lost to consistently, mind you, we did three reports there. One of them was 20 minutes, but it trades even and loses to the other rallies. So keep that in mind. Next, I wanted to test Isun Sin, good old YSS secondary. And this was definitely a loss here. It's a 3 million power loss difference. That is pretty shocking. Honestly, uh, Isun Sin just gets sort of destroyed here. Heracli is performing better than Isun Sin really interesting stuff. Then we tested some Duga Liang and he actually didn't perform that well here in the garrison. So Dito primary, Duga Liang secondary. And again, same uh, talent build that we would expect against the Zhang Yunevsky. And it is a 1.6 million, 1.7 million power loss difference here. So Duga Liang not performing super well as secondary in the garrison. Um, I did that again against a Nevsky Joan instead of the Zhang Yunevsky uh, and the Nevsky Joan also won. So 15.3 million power loss for the garrison, 14.5 million power loss for the Nevsky Joan. Remember, Dito Henry was beating Nevsky Joan, and now Dito Duga Liang is losing. So Henry is proving to be quite tanky, quite good for garrisons, even though he is a rally commander. And that was it. That was all for the testing. That was 19 different reports that we went through. All of them were 10 minutes apiece, except for two. One of them was 20 and the other one was 15 minutes. And this one was actually eight minutes. I cut this one short because I knew that this one would be, I mean, it just wasn't performing. I wasn't going to waste my time. This is the only 15 minute one. And we saw that the Dito Henry again, lost to the Attila Nevsky. So let's go over some of the results here. And the first and foremost thing that is the most important thing that we have to learn here is that you should not, you probably shouldn't make an investment in Dito based off of these numbers alone. Okay. These are simulator tests, one V one with a steady stream of reinforcements, but this does not account for counter rallies. This does not account for swarms. This does not account for the rally getting swarmed. There's a lot 
lot of variables that this does not take into account so I'm letting you know crystal clear right up front I'm not saying that these results are to be expected in the game but I do think that it gives us a decent idea as to what we might expect when Dito is fully here and what we learned is that Dito primary with Henry secondary performs really well as an archer garrison and I think this makes sense Henry is very tanky massive skill damage on that primary skill there with skill damage taken reduction for five seconds so when we look at massive uh you know skill damage commanders like Zhang Yunevsky or Nevsky Joan it makes a lot of sense that it would perform relatively well in those scenarios now a lot of times he does take 20 percent less normal attack damage but that doesn't seem to help up against the Attila Nevsky okay so I think Dito primary with Henry secondary is probably going to be your go-to garrison for archers unless it's an Attila Nevsky in which case we saw Heraclius perform pretty well here we saw the YSS performed relatively poorly paired with Dito uh, I do have him expertise here so keep that in mind I think if you're going to choose between YSS or Heraclius it seems like Heraclius might be performing better here I'm not entirely sure about that but in my most recent KBK uh Heraclius seemed to be a decent secondary I mean he's kind of slept on I feel like people kind of just forgot that he was dropped into the game but he's surprisingly good as just a universal secondary in your garrison so yeah I mean circular AoE here nice shielding factor we have 30 percent health 30 percent garrison counterattack damage we have 20 percent bonus skill damage and another shield here which is nice and of course whenever Heraclius is attacked while it has a shield it does more direct damage okay so that's really good plus unlike open field Heraclius he does get these 30 percent of stats when he is in the garrison so really cool stuff there 10 percent less damage for normal attacks all in all Heraclius is nice now I feel like we need more results from Manatore because she is a very good archer garrison but the first report that I kind of saw with Dito Amanatore wasn't super great up against uh, the cavalry rallies and again I think that's what matters the most right because we already know that it's going to beat the infantry rallies right infantry rallies aren't super great right now in, in rise of kingdoms okay so what matters the most is how it performs up against somebody intentionally trying to counter it and Dito Armanatori didn't seem to be super great at doing that whereas Henry was so I do think that more testing has to be done with Amanatore, but again I spent hours on this already and I wanted to get this video out to you guys and the other thing that we learned here is that Dito with Juga Leong is not a great garrison you would think that Juga Leong might perform decently here because the fact that he doesn't have March speed doesn't matter that's one of his biggest weaknesses and it doesn't matter in this scenario he's dealing massive skill damage he's reducing the amount of damage he takes from the target he's giving you a ton of Archer health bonus damage instant proc damage as well he also gains 20 percent bonus skill damage chance for archer attack there's a lot to love here and a lot of bonus damage a lot of aoe as well and he didn't perform super well now with that being said if you know that the garrison isn't going to be swarmed then I mean you might want that circular AoE on Juga Leong like that might be something that you really care about but just keep in mind I I don't know if it's going to perform super well so overall I would say that Dito is showing to be pretty promising as a garrison commander I do think that we're still probably going to see mostly infantry garrisons I think that makes the most sense but if you are an archer main who is garrisoning with archers Dito's probably a commander that you want to max out also keep in mind one thing that this simulator doesn't take into account for is that her active skill says if the target is a rallied army which it will be when she pops her active skill it also reduces the skill damage of up to five enemy troops near this commander's troop by 30 percent for three seconds that's very powerful that's really going to nullify the amount of damage that she takes from swarms so that isn't taken into account here but I also don't see anything that would make me not want to swarm her if she was in a flag with something like Henry I don't know it still seems relatively swarmable like for example there's not like massive amounts of counterattack damage here right like that would be really punishing she herself is not dealing AoE and if she's paired with Henry that's not dealing AOE either Henry has a lot of counterattack damage but only when he's a rally so that literally doesn't even take into account 
when Henry is garrisoned. So, so it's not even like the anti swarm on Henry will work here because it won't but he does have the direct damage factor when attacked so i mean like yeah a little bit but again no aoe here i don't know we'll have to wait and see for some more nuance here but i will say dito is v performing very well based on the simulation isn't game breaking i don't think she's going to be a game breaking garrison i don't think that archers is garrison meta but she seems to be probably your best choice if you are a archer garrison with that being said guys if you enjoyed this video if you found it useful make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it gets this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it of course there again is a link down below to the discord for the rock battle simulator if you are interested in trying and using this program yourself i am a big fan i love the work and keep in mind that it is just a simulation comment your thoughts down below on Dito do you think that the simulator is representing her accurately do you think she's going to perform even better than we see here or do you think that this is sort of a best case scenario and that she's actually not going to perform very well I would love to hear from you down there and while you're there make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace